I first noticed when I was cutting the grass that I couldn't cut the front yard and the back yard all in one day. Um, I would just get so tired that I couldn't finish. And then walking the dog a couple of miles a day, um, burping a lot, red face, tired, and not chest pain, but tightness in my chest, like when you lift weights or do push-ups a lot. I've smoked for 39 years, as much as two packs a day. And so, I had a thought in my mind. I tried quitting many times, never successful. So I decided I'm the type of person that I would rather be beat with a stick than disappoint somebody else, not so much for myself. So if I apply that, I'm thinking, okay, so if it takes 21 days to break a bad habit, maybe I can create a good habit in 21 days. So what I did was, I started assigning people that are close, near and dear to me, a day, that I would quit smoking for them one day at a time and do that 21 consecutive days. And so every evening I would write down a name that I wanted to contact, if they're still alive, then I would contact them that evening and tell them that tomorrow's their day, that I would quit smoking for them. The support was unbelievable. I had phone calls, text messages. God answered my prayers daily. My friends answered my prayers. My family answered my prayers. Everybody helped me through one day at a time. And then on day 21, one of my friends from Kansas City, when I was telling her about it, she told me that day 21 should be me. I didn't understand what she was talking about, but what she meant was on day 21, it's for the rest of your life and you should put for yourself. That really was strength to me, so I did that. And on the second to the last day, I wanted to stand by my wife as I always have. So on day 20 was for my wife and on day 21 was for me. Dan is a really special guy because of um, his determination to have a healthier lifestyle. He's always done that over the years, except for the smoking. And when he really decided to stop smoking, that's when he made that big commitment and came up with this fantastic plan of how he would uh, make that happen over those 21 days. So I just am so impressed with how he devised his plan and then stuck to it and used so many people in his life. They always say that the day you quit smoking you'll start improving. But within two or three days after quitting smoking, I wasn't feeling better. As a matter of fact, I was feeling worse. And I noticed on walks of Especially how tired and sore I would get. It just kept getting worse and worse and worse so that I decided I would come in, have Dr. Uh, William Woods take a look. He ordered a cardiac catheterization and then there was a pretty major blockage. One was 100%, one over 80. And so they did a couple of stents in a balloon and um, then I did my rehab at Cardiac Rehab through Boone. When he commits to something, he is going to stick with it. So he wanted to learn how to exercise, what a, the appropriate level of exercise would be for him, and learn as much as he could about how to have a healthy lifestyle. And that's what Cardiac Rehab is all about, is developing, helping people learn and developing a new healthy lifestyle. They helped me understand heart rate, understand the amount of time that I should be spending weekly, um, understand that sometimes the breathing part is as important as uh, the strenuous activity is. So I learned about heart rate, I learned about breathing, and uh, probably feel the best I've ever felt.